Hey guys, Ashley Bowden here for The Buzz. We are here with season four winner of Netflix is Too Hot to Handle, Jawa here, Khalifa. Hey yeah. girl. Thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to have you here and you're beautiful on the show, but you're even more beautiful in person. Oh my that God. That was the first thing that I saw. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my God, thank you so you're much. You're gorgeous. Congratulations on the big win. Thank you. How did it feel when your name was announced that you were the winner? What was felt, going through your mind? Oh my God, it felt unreal. I was like, wait, what? What's happening? And then I just started screaming. I don't know if you saw it. I yeah. Was like onto the ground. And I was like, yes, thank you, God. Yes. I did it. Yeah. I noticed you paused. You were like... Is this real? Is wait a this minute, happening? Wait a minute, yeah. <laughs> because Nick Nick immediately was like celebrating yeah. and you took a moment. I was like, Yeah, really? you took a beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what would you say was the most surprising thing that happened during filming? Like, give us some behind the scenes tea. What I happened? Think, I think like the most surprising thing was like we had microphones in the bed. Okay. So like they could hear everything. They could see everything. There were like cameras in the toilet. Ooh! Everything. They watched everything. They can see everything. So that was like... Very uncomfortable at the start, but I got used to it. There were cameras inside the toilet? <laughs> Not inside the toilet, okay. but like behind the toilet. So okay. basically they will watch you like pee yeah. and everything. It oh, was... that's very intrusive. Yeah. Yeah, right. that's a lot to get used to. Yeah. And speaking of the beds, how was it sleeping with the rest of the cast members in one room? Oh my God, I remember the first <laughs> night yeah. the AC fell out. So it was so hot in there and everyone was just... The beds are very close to each other. On yeah. TV, you might think that they're really far from each other, yeah. but my bed will be here and the next bed will be here. Right. It's just really close. Arm so, yeah, distance. Exactly. Okay. So it was very, um, the first night was almost suffocating, I think. Oh, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. I would think so. So now you and Nick won $89,000. Yes, we did. So did y'all split the money? How did yes, that work? we split the money. Okay. We did. And do you get that in installments? How does the payout work for that? Oh, they just pay you. Oh, straight they just away. pay you? Yeah. Straight up? They just straight up. Okay. Pay you. Yeah. Were you excited? How did you feel when we got the check? I was like, yes, <laughs> mama, look, I did it. Right. <laughs> Let's make it rain. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So I do want to address the elephant in the room. Everyone is speculating, gossiping, talking about the status of you and Nick's relationship. What is going on? What has happened post-production between you two? He did cheat on me. Okay. And um, in the relationship, I felt very uncomfortable and like very insecure. So I was like afraid to like leave the relationship. Okay. And I was trying to like make excuses for him. I think a lot of young girls do that, especially when you're like 21, 22 and you're just confused. You're just like, okay, maybe he's not, he's not, he's not doing this because he's doing that. Or maybe this or this, maybe that. No girl, if he's not texting you, he just doesn't want to text you. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you guys live together? Yes, we okay. lived together for like six months. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a long time. Yeah, we lived uh, together uh, in London. We lived together in Bali, and went to the states together. Okay. Yeah. And what? So, this was this your first inter interracial relationship? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. But it's probably gonna be my last one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why is that? I don't know. It's just that, like. I hate explaining to people why I have braids or like why sometimes I just want to wear a wig. Okay. Why I, yeah, it's just like the little things, you know? Yeah. I just, I just don't want to explain the little things to my partner. Okay. I just want my partner to like understand that and appreciate that. You know? Okay. Yeah. So Nick was cheating. Yeah. What other issues did you have in the relationship? Um, one thing that made me really feel uncomfortable, it was like one time he made this comment and the comment was like, um, <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a deep breath because yes. you're gonna jump off your chair. Okay. Um, so basically, he said, um, You know what, Jawa? All black girls smell, but you don't smell. What? Exactly. So I was like, I was like, Wait a minute, did he just say that? Yeah. And then I was like, What do you mean? And, said, and he was like, Oh, my friends think that, think that as well. And I was like, Okay, who are your friends? You know, so like, he just said this out the blue? Yeah. He just said that. Oh, and he also said that I broke the curse about like black women smelling really and me not smelling oh really so i felt very offended i felt very insecure in the relationship and i didn't feel comfortable and i don't know i just didn't feel beautiful enough i just had to like try and i will find myself like crying and being sad in a relationship and i was like you know what this is not meant for me i should like just leave and be on my own and explore myself and also just like find someone who appreciates my blackness 
because I'm a, I'm a beautiful, strong, young black woman. That you are. Exactly. And I shouldn't be somewhere where that's not appreciated. And I think it taught me a lot about myself. Yeah. Wow. So, look, so looking back now mm -hmm. at this point, yeah. now that you've had your experience with Nick, yeah. would you have still picked him over Sean? That's a very good question. That's a really good question. So basically, like, I would have like picked Sean over him, but at okay. the same time, I wouldn't be the girl I am today if I didn't make those choices. Because at the end of the day, the choices that I made in the past made me the girl I am today. Okay. So like... I always say like, what if I had a time machine and I could go back, I wouldn't still change anything because it taught me so much about myself. And I'd rather take, I'd rather fall like 10 times yeah. and stand up 11 times, you know? I think that's what comes. You needed to walk that path to exactly. learn whatever lessons you needed to learn. Exactly. And you obviously learned, what would you say is the biggest lesson you learned from your, your relationship with Sean? Or with Nick? <laughs> with, Nick. with both with of Nick. them, really, with both huh? of them, oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would say self-appreciation and self-love, yes. not having to have this need of like having to have validation from someone, getting called beautiful, all that stuff. Yes. You know, I can just stand in front of the mirror, call myself beautiful, appreciate myself enough, buy myself those flowers if I want to and just self-love and self-appreciation, yeah. appreci yes. Honor yourself as the queen you are. Exactly. Yeah, we yes. don't wait on the guys to do it. We'll yeah. do it for ourselves. Exactly. I love it. So have you talked to Sean at all? Um, yes, I've talked to Sean, um, pre like after the show aired a couple of, I think a couple of weeks later after the show aired and I was just like venting to him because I didn't tell anyone about like what happened in the relationship, of course. Right. And I just thought like as my black brother, I'm just going to, chat with him, tell him like what went down. I told him everything that went down. And he was like, oh my God, Jawa, like, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. And he was like, oh, I didn't know you was going through that. And I was like, yeah, I was going through that. And then eventually I just decided to like leave the group chat. Okay. Because, um, because obviously like Nick was in the group chat and everyone was in the group chat as well. And I just felt like, I just felt like there's like things going around and I don't like being in a like negative situation. Yeah. I just rather remove myself from it. Yeah. So I remember saying that I don't support um, a comment that he made, like a cast member made. So that's why I left the group. Okay. Um, so Sean was there through that whole process. And, uh, <clears throat> and um, one day I saw this thing where, where it was right when I moved to, uh, whew, geez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's okay. <clears throat> it was right when I moved to Los Angeles. I saw that Sean went live with Nick and he was telling the fans to like go on Nick's live and to watch the live because he was going to spill the truth. And I was like, I was just telling you about what happened, right. you know, to me. And I was venting to you and you said that you supported me and now you're jumping on a live with him. With yeah, Nick. Where, where like they can be something said about me in that life and you are just supporting that. You're just being in that space right now. And I said, sorry, but like that's not being a friend to me. That's why I unfollowed him. Well, it's strange because Nick obviously said something against black women. Exactly. But Sean wasn't trying to support you, wasn't trying to support mm -hmm. black women as a whole. So that's that's quite interesting. Yeah, that's quite interesting. And it's, I don't know, it's like sad as well. You yeah. Know? Because um, I, I thought Sean was like someone who supports his sisters and black women in general. But like that wasn't the vibe I was getting. So I just... Do you feel like maybe he felt slighted because you didn't pick him anyway, so he felt like this was a way to get back at you? Mm, it could be. <laughs> it okay. could be. It could be. Yeah, because, it's so strange. Yeah, because they were also, like, asking me to, like, like kind of fool the fan page and tell them, like, oh, we are beefing online. And I was like, you know what? If you and Nick want to do that, go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to do that. You right, know? Yeah. right, right, right. All right, so you being a black woman winning this show is actually yeah. quite impactful because the criticism of dating shows is that black women are overlooked. Mm -hmm. Black women are portrayed as the less desirable option yeah. on these shows. Mm -hmm. And you obviously won. Exactly. So what do you plan on doing with your platform? What do you want to do? Um, I really want to do charity work. Okay. Um, I really want to help orphan kids. Okay. So I just want to start in, uh, in East Africa, Kenya, and then from there just grow. 
but at the same time, I also want to focus on my modeling and acting. Yes. Um, yeah, and that's what I want to do. Yeah. Just. I saw your Instagram page, and your photos are beautiful. Oh, thank you so, so much. So, yeah, modeling is definitely in your thank wheelhouse. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very natural. So, are you dating anyone at this point? I'm not dating anyone at this point, but I'm okay. talking to someone at the moment. Okay. Who, who are you talking to? <laughs> Fill us in. I need to know. Oh, my God. Um... I can give you one hint. Okay. Um, he's um, doing something on Peacock. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is he on a show? Is he an actor? Yes, he's an actor. He's an actor? Yes. On a show? On Peacock. On Peacock. Yes. That's all I can say. Really? Yeah. What does he look like? <laughs> what does he look like? Beautiful. Ooh. How did you meet him? Um, I met him at, the, uh, at an event the other day. Yeah. The other day? Oh, and he shit. has you smiling like that. <laughs> okay. Have you guys gone out on a first date? Um, we're gonna go out on a first date soon. Sorry, okay. I'm, 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 why are, are you blushing? <laughs> are you blushing? So you must really like this guy. Yeah. So yeah, how how was the first conversation? How was, did he get your attention? It was amazing. Okay. First conversation was just a click right there. Yeah. Okay. Instant. Instant click. Okay. And I never give people my number like that. So <laughs> that have you a, have you kissed him? I don't kiss people that quickly. I just have okay. to wait first. They have to earn it. Okay. Not after what I went through. You know? I know. Yeah. You learned your lesson. You <laughs> yeah. learned. You grew. You healed. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes. True healing. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So when things do get more serious with him, yeah. do you plan on being public with your relationship? Um, definitely, definitely. Okay. Yes. So you're okay with showing up on the red carpet with him and yes, all of that? Yes. Okay. I might pop to one. Soon. Uh, okay, knows? yeah. I, I'm, I'm watching. <laughs> We're watching. All right. Jawa, where can people find you on social media? Mostly on Instagram. Okay. Yes. So you can find me on Instagram. I'll be starting my YouTube channel soon and I'll just I'll just vlog. Love it. Love yeah. it. What's your handle? Jawa Khalifa. Okay. Hi guys, this is Jawa here and you just got buzzed, my friend.